Formula One, the pinnacle of motorsport. With a global audience and drama to match, all the attention is now on race circuits around the world, waiting for the start of the fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on track battles. Anyone expecting a smooth ride from the 2023 season is in for a shock. With a shakeup in the paddock, resulting in the signing of several new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. With a new era of racing now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums and a chance at the championship. This is Formula One. Red Bull took the F1 world by storm in 2022, defending their Drivers' Championship title and bringing home the Constructors' Championship for the first time since 2013. The new season will see the continuation of Dream Team, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. They're flying high on the back of their... 2022 was a tough year for Mercedes. Taking home third in the Constructors' Championship, they broke their eight-year winning streak and although... You must be our new team principal. It's so great to meet you. I'm Audrey, one of the team engineers. I'm happy to show you around. You're joining us at a pivotal time here at Mercedes. We've been top of the game for too long to settle for anything less now. With you here to lead us and a talented team at our backs, we're ready to reclaim our crown. In this area, you have a centralized view of what a team principal needs to keep track of. The board sets season objectives for the team to achieve. Reaching them will help keep confidence high. So be sure to familiarize yourself with what's expected. You'll want to keep an eye on the long-term objective for beyond this season as well. You'll always be able to see what the team's next race is from here and how long you have left to prepare. Our next Grand Prix will be the first of the season. As it's your first day though, there's nothing urgent for you to address. Feel free to explore more, or you can select continue and sign off for the day. Once you do, time will pass, but don't worry about missing anything. You'll automatically sign back in if an important event comes up. Here's your inbox. Watch out for any email alerts. They appear when you've got an important email awaiting a response. You can take a look at sponsorship performance targets here. Improving our car. Let's introduce you to the team. It's not just the check here to see what you're... From here, you can see all the team's facilities. From... Over time, the board are the ones who set the expectations for the team. If they Don't forget to check in with the board. Running an F1 team, most of the team's budget is decided by the board at the start of the season. There's also, whenever you're making financial decisions,
Income from sponsorships is vital for a team. And there are different ways we can increase our revenue through sponsorship. Outside of a race weekend, we will gain ongoing passive income through scheduled sponsorship events over the season. Just bear in mind that these sponsorship obligations will interrupt day-to-day -day management. Each car part we design. Testing is also an imp You can direct the engineer. Aerodynamic car. Designing aero. For each design project. If you want to install any aerodynamic team and driver comes here with the same goal to win, but that's for the end of the season. For now, they have to prepare to fight for F1 glory. The Bahrain International Circuit is a challenging track and the cars routinely have to brake from high gear to low to take the narrow turns. With the need for downhill braking, the risk of locking up is one drivers will need to manage. It's all about focus and balance to get victory here. Williams are taking a gamble this weekend on a new driver. But you have to ask, will it pay off? Okay then, let's get to it. Welcome to your first race weekend with the team. A normal race weekend starts with three practice. Once you're ready. Over here is our race preparation. The team, feel free. During race weekends, as it's your first race weekend, you should let the team handle the practice sessions. To help maximize our driver's performance, the team, having your drivers, whenever you manage practice, Let's hope the teams took full advantage of practice. It's time for qualifying. Bahrain's track is dusty and abrasive. And even under the floodlights, qualifying is tough. 
teams will need to use their tyre allocation. Now there's been a bit of talk about Sergio Perez of late. How's he going to be feeling, do you think? They must be feeling good after their fast lap times in practice. Confidence can do great things for a driver, so I'm excited to see how they handle qualifying. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. Right. Time for qualifying. Same as practice, the team can handle qualifying for you if you like. Let's get you hands on for this round though, just to make sure you're feeling confident before race day kicks off. Our drivers need to be setting their fastest possible lap times, so we can... Right then, let's get... I know everything happens, so of course. The map view, remember your manager, you can even... Great. That's our first flying lap. When your flying laps are finished. And if we could just get that delta negative. And we will box, box, end of this lap. Okay. A driver's confidence level can be impacted throughout a race weekend, both negatively and positively, by on-track events. A driver with higher confidence will have an increased performance and a lower risk of on-track incidents. A driver with lower confidence will see a decrease... Our driver has returned to the garage. You need to reconfigure the car before we can send them back out. Let's go and take a look. Here you can see all the available tyre compounds for the weekend. You need to use at least two different compounds during a dry race. There are a number of events that can interrupt a session, mainly for safety reasons. These include a safety car or virtual safety car, also known as a VF. When race events occur, they can provide ex- So that's red flag.
We're through to Q2. Great work. In Q2, the fast... Well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. Bahrain has seen some of the most dramatic races in F1, like Sergio Perez's incredible 2020 victory, surging ahead from being last on the opening lap. We've been having lovely clear weather, although there are a few clouds lurking. Hopefully, they'll stay in check for the duration of the race. But which team has perfected the strategy that will see them prevail here at the Bahrain Grand Prix? Here in Sakir, the floodlights are on and it's nearly time for 57 laps around the Bahrain International Circuit. Yo Guan Yu will know exactly what's expected of him in this race. They sit in 17th and let's be honest, no one wants to be at the back of the pack. But can they impress us here? But just what will happen here, your guess is as good as mine. And this is it, the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Controlling pace here will help you manage a car's tyre temperature and condition. Keep an eye on the tyre condition of both cars. Over... You can advise your drivers on their tyre manager. Direct your driver's fuel. Make sure your di Fuel commands instruct the driver on how to manage their car's fuel consumption. Make sure to keep an eye. If you want to review for a deeper understanding... Let's see what happened there. So here we go, heading into turn one. It's certainly inviting. Up to 12th and sniffing at those points places. We are seeing high temp peaks, so just keep on top of it. Yep. When you set a strategy for a car, a pit window will be created. 
during which it is recommended to call for a pit stop. The race engineer will also alert you to the optimal pit lap for your strategy. Throughout race weekend, so as a tyre is you. Yeah, we just need to make sure that uh, we don't fall off a cliff on that tyre. This is the optimal pit lap for this race. In a full race, the tyres on a car will need changing at least once, which means at least one pit stop per race. Pit stops take up valuable seconds, so careful management of tyre wear and pit... Here you can see all the tyre compounds available this weekend. When making any changes, just be sure you're considering both the condition and the compound of the selected tyre. If needed, you can also use a pit stop to replace the front. During the race, a cheap... It's not going to be long that way. Just do the best you can. Box, box, box.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 5 Go have a great day, and peace out. Temps are.